Hey! Thanks a lot for joining us. We're here for another winter camping trip. Well, we still can. It's a gorgeous spring day. Yeah. The sun is shining. It's beautiful. I don't really need this toque, but of course I have it. Uh, we are out here with the hot tent again, the new one. We uh, wanted to try it out uh, at different spots to, to test out its portability. So that's what we're doing. Right now we're trying to find a spot to go camping in. So uh, we're going to leave our sleds here because dragging it through all this brush for no reason is kind of pointless. Yeah, hopefully we have a spot nearby. Yeah. So we'll be spending one night. We're going to go out and find a spot and then we'll, we'll bring you guys uh, up to date once we find it. Looking forward to it? Yep. <laughs> nice. Fun. What a day. So as we were uh, walking around looking for a flat spot set up the tent, we made a bit of a discovery when we slipped. You just scrape off the first layer there. I'm nowhere near the, the ground. All ice. Not too, too bad. Crusty, but should be able to get through the shovel, but it's gotta be a bit of a hassle. Been walking around for a bit, scouting different spots. Nothing's perfect, but what do you think, Sandra? I think we can make this work. Yeah. Yeah. It kind of looks big and flat enough there. We'll yeah. have to dig and see what we get, but... Might be... Might be hilly. Yeah, but it looks flat, like, in there. Like, if yeah. we back it in there. But... All right, we're going to go get the shovels. Well, and the sleds. <laughs> Bring and, our gear here. And the tent. And food. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else I've forgotten to mention? Sleeping get bags. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Yeah. All right, we're going to go get our gear. And uh, we'll catch up with you guys then. Man, it's so warm. Whew. Off of the Duke. And on with the shades. <laughs> oh, poor Sandra. <sighs> Spring weather, everyone. Woo! And I collapsed through the ground. What collapse? I guess it's not as icy as I thought. Oh, your chair? Yeah. Oh, I got overconfident. Ready again? Nope. Can't stretch your arms up. Ah. Spring weather. Are you, oh, you're making legs? Who's the smartest? You. Just full of ideas today. Mm -hmm. oh. My God, how are you going to taunt me? Never. Can't be done. Uh oh. I hope it goes bad. <laughs> the back legs are not quite... Uh... It'll only go bad if it's my, my idea. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. You only have one problem. That's our size, so. Looks like I had drawn out the perfect. Yeah. I think. Yeah. You want to move this back a little bit? Um, okay, just so we know where to stop the move. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but I'm still not past the hole I started. No. Yeah. We'll go another couple of feet. Okay. Perfect. 
What a great little tent. It fits. What an awesome tent. All right, so let's, so let's move it, and then uh, we're going to have to dig this out. Uh, can you mark the front? So, Oh, well, you need to stop it. No, it's okay. Where that tree is next to you. Nice little right, That's the front. Yeah. Tell me when I can turn. Oh. You got enough room? Yeah. Okay. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Gonna have to be extra careful with this and one. And look, it really broke there. Yeah. Wow. All right, that seems things. Okay. Okay, so uh, we haven't been working around too, too long. Um, basically maybe around, I don't know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. And we're taking shifts and it's working out well. We're uh, almost done clearing out the spot here. So I'm on the verge of finishing my shift here. So, yeah. The reason I say that is because Sandra, like I said before, for some weird reason, really likes to dig. And if I dig the whole thing, she's gonna be mad. To Sanders Point, we could have built an igloo with the blocks we've taken up. Probably wouldn't have lasted very long. It's warm. So, we're not going all the way down to the ground. Uh, for The main reason is we don't know how level it is on the ground. So uh, we're going down to a layer that has another, a secondary layer of crust that's nice and hard. So uh, we're going to try that out. Hopefully um, it doesn't cause us any issues when things start to warm up inside the tent. It's such a gorgeous day. We're not going to start a fire until much later on today. So, uh, and uh, once we have the tent set up, we'll put up our bedding above the back section here uh, pretty much immediately. That way, if things do get warm inside the tent, our bedding will actually insulate that snow and it'll keep that from melting. So if the rest of the stuff kind of melts away, we're going to brace the stove up so that that doesn't cause an issue with the stove. And it's not an issue for us for our, our sleeping setup because we already have it covered. So it's going well. Is it my turn? <laughs> well, do you want me to do one more pass? One more pass, it'll be your turn. Okay, so we're going to devy up tasks now. I'm going to go get some firewood. Sandra? I'm going to uh, stake the sides of the tent and I'm going to move that big snow pile too. <laughs> and I'll probably put some snow down on the flaps. Yeah, so we need to ex uh, put some uh, poles on the side and it helps pull the, the tent out and give us even extra room inside. Sandra's going to work away at that. I'm going to go get some uh, firewood and uh, once I'm done that, I'll help her with the working around the tent. I'll probably be done. Yeah, probably. <laughs> okay, so I got the uh, Bob the Strood saw ready. Sandra over there waiting to do her task. And with her eagle eye, she spotted a nice piece of softwood. So we're going to go find it. Do you see it? Yeah, I do. I Good eye. There we go. That's going to be a good start.
Good job. Hey, it's slippy slidey here. Now. <laughs> it's slippy slidey. Yeah. There. Maybe I didn't leave myself enough cordage. Backpack hanger. Oh, okay. Everything is all uh, stretched out the way it should be, which is great. Yeah, we just got to move in. Yeah. Good job, Sandra. Well done. With the digging and all that. Shame you broke your shovel. I get, I get to get a new one now. <laughs> yeah, I suppose you I do. I should get a good deal. It's spring. Yeah, it's yeah, true. It's true. <laughs> so, yeah, we got everything set up. The only thing uh, we need to do next is to get um, a bipod set up for the uh, stove pipe. And we're going to bring the stove inside. Uh, the floor is nice and level level-ish <laughs> right now and that's going to change as things warm up inside uh, while we don't need a big huge fire because uh, it is going to go below freezing tonight but we don't need it to be super warm but we're going to be cooking our supper in there so that requires a fair amount of heat we're going to keep the door open and uh, the stove has a neat little design in order to uh, keep it from sinking too much in the snow we showed it a little bit in our first video but we'll show you a bit more on how uh, it's set up it's i like the the way it's designed it's really neat mm -hmm. So uh, we're going to get that tackled, and uh, un we're probably going to stay outside until the sun sets. It's so great. It's nice, yeah. Yeah, this is awesome. So uh, thanks a lot for being with us, folks. We're having a blast as usual. We're probably going to have to sit outside when we're cooking, actually. <laughs> it's going to be too hot in here. <laughs> That's a nice problem to have today. Yeah. This is great. This is great. Awesome.
those are your sticks to put in there. Yeah, nice. These uh, these little quarter pie pieces there. This is what I was talking about. That is a neat little design. Basically, you put the stick all the way through, and then you can put some uh, logs across, and it supports the whole thing. And as the the tent floor or the snow melts this actually um, helps support it and it doesn't uh, melt nearly as much because the wood is insulated in the ground so Let's see how much length we need She's gonna be tight. Yeah, she works. Perfect. Awesome. So now all we need to do is get a couple of logs to put across here underneath. Support the whole thing. Great. So you can see these two logs going across. Uh, as the, the snow underneath melts, the snow underneath these sticks is actually gonna take longer to melt. So that's going to keep our stove nice and stable so this should work pr pretty good if you want it to make it last even longer you can fill out the whole bottom here and that would really protect the whole thing probably be the best way to do it but for one night i'm not overly concerned so this should work out pretty good for us now we just got to go out and uh, set up the bipod on the stove pipe how's that look looking pretty good uh, we got some uh, chicken wire I guess you call it supporting that so I'm gonna, just gonna get some of these blocks that we uh, dug out and uh, brace the, the, the legs and we should be good to go you just hold it the, yeah Pretty convinced that's gonna be solid. What do you think? Yep. A little bit hard tonight there. There you go. That's nice with that stick to go. Well, the sun is starting to go down. There's still some daylight left, fair amount, but we can tell the temperatures are starting to drop, so I'm gonna put on this extra layer. Still gonna stay outside, I would think. Oh yeah. Still a nice spring day. I think I will bring my bedding inside though and kind of get a flattened out spot. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. See, that's how you put your sleeping bag on the end of both of them. I am, I'm trying to sit. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Patience. Sorry, sorry. On skates here. Yeah. Once yeah. you put that clear sheet down, it's. As long as we don't both go sliding towards it. <laughs> there you go. This 
this away, I guess. Don't need that. Hey, fine. There's more. I just left some for next time. Yeah. <laughs> Birch bird. I'm just scraping away some fat wood because it takes a spark really nicely. And I'm going to try to get all artsy and see if we can get a slow motion spark. There you go. I'm just gonna let the smoke out. <laughs> Luckily, the door's wide open. Thanks, Sandra. Thank Let's show, the show Sandra. Hey, <laughs> I'm the uh, camera holder because we had a little bit of a mishap <laughs> or plan, yeah. plan that didn't work. Well, we tried to anchor the camera down and it just wouldn't hold. So, I'm still holding it, but I'm getting tired. <laughs> All right. Sorry, people. You're good. good. <laughs> We got our fire started lickety split. Building heat really quick. We could probably start cooking already. It's yeah. generally a lot of heat, so. Good. And I'm in no big hurry. I can wait until some coals build up. I gotta junk some wood up so we have a supply. Mm -hmm. But I just sat down. Oh, well, just sit down then. Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> No camping at its best. bundle for now. Come back later and get some more. So uh, we got a bit of a mix of uh, some uh, larger pieces of softwood and some smaller pieces of hardwood. That mixed together should give us a, a good amount. We got more there, a couple more sticks over there, and a lot more everywhere else. <laughs> so it's no big concern. This gives us a good start. And uh, every once in a while I'll go out and I'll saw a bit more just to make sure we have enough. But I have no concerns. The stove is really efficient. Once we have a good bed of coals, we can just let it simmer and we're going to have an awesome night. Absolutely awesome. Yes, we are. Oh, man. That is a nice one, yeah. Nice dry and light one. Yeah. Put it aside for later. 
weighs as much as a toothpick, that thing. I wish more people could get to experience camping out in the snow. I remember, uh, let me move a little bit more into shot. Remember years ago, I was really into the hiking and you know, camping in the backcountry, and I met uh, this one guy while we were camping, and he asked me if I ever tried winter camping, and I thought he was nuts. I thought, why? Why, why would I do that? And uh, basically by his description, it's just so peaceful, and there, there's nothing really like it, and he's totally right. It is incredibly peaceful, with the exception of the air pump for the air mattress <laughs> going on right now. Other than that, it's... I wish everybody could experience this. It's, it's something else. It's really great. take little walks here and there. <laughs> Check things out. Alright, I'm just going to add a handful of rice noodles in here. Oh. Get those cooking. So I make my life easy and I prep everything at home. Yeah. <laughs> I could do it here, but it's easier this way. Put some ginger in there. And I got some, I brought the whole bottle of soy sauce this time. <laughs> <laughs> Not just the flask. <laughs> so I'm going to add some of that in there too. Folks, I, I know we've uh, shown this uh, recipe before, but man, it smells so amazing. <laughs> and we enjoyed it so much, we had to bring it out, out into the bush. Uh, hopefully the coyotes don't like wonton soup. <sighs> that smell. I don't think they do, huh? Uh, probably not. No. Man, Maybe if we'd be having like rabbit stew, they might show <laughs> up. <laughs> or squirrels on a stick. <laughs> oh man, mm. really can't wait to have this. It smells so amazing, and I'm pretty hungry, so that's going to be great. The uh, Most of the stuff, um, exception of... Uh, oh, we're boiling. Yeah. Get that away from the pipe. Um, the, uh, the ginger is, is processed, obviously. And our wonton soup, our wontons themselves, uh, we've got to learn how to make some. Unfortunately, we don't. <laughs> But uh, the ones we get, it's just a very standard, what is it? Yeah, it's a one wonton. <laughs> yeah, from a wong, wong wing. wing. Yeah, so it's, 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 it's nothing special, uh, but we really enjoy it. I think, I, don't, I think it's focused on your face there. Is it? Yeah. There you go. Those are the wontons we buy. Yeah. So they're nothing fancy, but we enjoy them. But uh, you mix in all the other flavors that Sanders got going on here. My <laughs> God, it's something else. Can't wait. It's going to be very filling. <laughs> well, our sun has set and the temperatures are starting to dip, so we're going to close up the, uh, the doors. The uh, supper's almost ready and I uh, can't wait to dig into that. <laughs>
Those are perfect. Are they? Mm -hmm. Good. Mm. Oh, yeah, Wonton pork. soup. Pork is good. Mm. Sorry about the slurping, but it's soup. <laughs> it's a slurpy meal. Mm. I want to eat this, but I know I'm going to burn my face. <laughs> I did. Yeah? Worth it. It's too soon. Worth it. Well, we should have brought the first aid kit in here. <laughs> Well, my second bowl is full. I'm full, too. It's so good. It's about as full as we've been out in the wilderness, I think. Man. And there's still st still some left for a midnight snack. Mm. It's going to have to be a midnight slack. Sna slack. <laughs> Can't even talk. <laughs> so full. It's going to have to be a late night snack. Cause... Mm. Struggling to finish my second bowl, but it's so good. Thanks, Sandra. That's amazing. Couldn't have done it without your fire. Mm. <laughs> you know, you can start a fire yourself. We've all seen it. Mm. Yeah, but I couldn't have started the fire and cooked the meal. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. I'm going to sit back and digest for a bit, I think. <laughs> and do nothing. <laughs> and do nothing. <laughs> Just feed the fire. Mm. Whew. We'll catch up with you guys after meal settles. Yeah. Hi there everyone. I hope that the camera's catching this right. We've set up a few lights here and there. Hot tent is working out. Yeah, it's really awesome. warm. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely awesome. We actually have the, the door open here just to give us a little bit of heat. We're sitting here, we were looking at the stars and it's just gorgeous. It's really, really awesome. Clear yeah. night, no wind, just the tiniest moon on the horizon so we get a really nice to starry sky. Well, we did. Now we have all these lights in here. We're yeah, blind we can't. And we can't. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I took a few shots. Uh, I'll put a, a few up. Uh, hopefully they came out and uh, if they did I'll put them in the video. But uh, we just wanted to kind of touch base. We had our supper and it took a while to move because <laughs> 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 it was so full. Yeah, it wasn't a miss. No, no, that was a uh, spot on, spot on. Mm. But uh, no, so we're having a great time. We just wanted to kind of have you guys join us while we uh, sit back and just enjoy another hot tent trip. Hopefully we have a few more before it's all said and done, but the snow, it, it took a, a beating today. Yeah. There was a, it was a warm day. Yeah. But I think we might get a spell of cold weather next week. I'm not sure. Uh, no, I think it's going to be mild, but mostly rainy. Rain. Yeah, a little bit of snow, uh, but so not enough. Like No big storms. No big storms. So no. <laughs> this might be it for, for snow, but I, I really hope you guys stick around because we're going to be doing a lot more camping trips, that's for sure. We, yeah. we uh, camp all year round. And we have, uh, you know, we plan to do some canoeing and kayaking, which we absolutely adore. So we always have a good time there. So I hope you guys join us. So while we're out here, just thought I'd say uh, a big uh, hello to Open Air Outdoors. Hey, Open Air Outdoors. <laughs> so uh, he uh, had uh, put a, a note on one of the videos that he'd like to get uh, a shout out. He's a new YouTuber. So, uh, you know, uh, you know, welcome to, to the group. Uh, do it for fun because um, uh, as long as you're having fun, and that's all that matters and yeah. uh, we have always done it for fun and it's it's been amazing yeah it's been absolutely yeah. great met so many great people out of it so good luck to you sir and also shout out to just me 1972 <laughs> hey just me <laughs> <laughs> you've been with us for a long time as well we had a lot of we have a lot of long-term uh, viewers and uh, you know it's really really appreciated i'm sure you gave me your full name at some point and my memory just shot so i apologize <laughs> if i can't remember your name on the spot but thank you so much you know for for asking for the uh, the call out the shout out and i uh, hope you enjoy this video like I said, we uh, couldn't imagine a better night. No. It's just perfect. Yeah. We had an owl hooting around earlier. And like I said, not a cloud in the sky. Gorgeous night. Fantastic wonton soup. <laughs> <laughs> and, and. What do you got there in your pocket? 
A nice cold beverage. Oh. Well, everything is nice cold, <laughs> but, except for the stuff inside. But. <laughs> Cheers, everyone who's watching. Thank you so much for sticking around. Hoping you enjoy this one. And uh, we have a lot more to come. But uh, just wanted to kind of touch base before we uh, turn out for the night. But we're going to be up for a little while. Oh, yeah. I what? think I'm going to try to call that owl in. Well, I think you may have moved on, but you can always I try. Know. I have an app on my phone. I'm going to try. Yeah. It's worked before. Yeah. yeah. Well, if we have any success on it, we'll, uh, we'll make sure to, sh to film it for you guys. So, yeah. cheers, everyone. <laughs> mm. I don't think we get too much good footage at night. <laughs> We've got the giant spotlight. Yeah, I suppose. Might yeah. scare him off, though. <laughs> The only way we'd hear it is if he hooted again. Um, I think you're doing an eagle sound. <laughs> you're gonna scare the owls away. Uh, let's, well, let's do a different owl then. I don't know what kind of owl, owl it is though. Sound, here we go. Short, here, short. You just played its owl. predator. It's never gonna come around. That wasn't it either. No. Finally got it. That's a barred owl. <laughs> Good job, Sandra. We got it. All right. So, uh, pretty much, kind of wrap up the evening. We've just been uh, sitting by the uh, the stove here and enjoying a really warm night. It's a little bit too warm right now. Yeah, it is warm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're listening to some music right now. You're hearing Steve Haley. I have huge thanks to Steve for letting us use his music. I've used it in a few of the videos. I'm a huge fan. So this one's called "Thief in the Night." Love it. <laughs> Absolutely love it. So thanks a lot for uh, staying out with us, folks. Uh, right now we have this set up. I know a few of you, a lot of you probably have heard me talk about it before, but just in case there's new viewers, so we've got these. Uh, these are minus 20 degrees Celsius sleeping bags. Fahrenheit will be there. And uh, underneath we have the Neo Air uh, air mattress, and we have a Thermarest foam pad underneath. So that's our setup. Perfectly comfortable. Works every time. Every time. <laughs> so yeah, this has been just a great trip again. Really, really awesome. So I hope you guys have enjoyed so far, and we'll see you guys in the morning. Good night, everyone. Good night. Hey, Good night, Tanner. Good night, Mike. <laughs> This is comfortable. <laughs> yeah, it's since you've been sitting in a chair all night. Isn't yeah. It? That covers me from head to toe. My mouth, my eyes, my face, and ears. Something that I can't pretend. That I'm an ancient Mongol born to do these grievous deeds. And will you violently put me Turn off the camera? Nope. You're closer. <laughs> I am. Yeah. I always have the night chores. Yes, you do. <laughs> That's why you go winter camping with me. Yep. <laughs> it's all part of the sport. Yep. Good night, folks.
think the sun's starting to reach us here. It's starting to get warmer. Yeah, I'm thinking of switching from toque to hat again. <laughs> Make up your mind. <laughs> Just all over the place today. <laughs> toque, hat, gloves. Ball John. So we're just enjoying our first cup of the morning. Really good. Not too bad. It took a while for, uh, for it to, to cool down, but now it's perfect. We're probably going to have uh, another cup right after. For sure. Yep. Yep. Uh, after that, we're probably going to cook up some breakfast. Uh, got uh, some breakfast sandwiches. Yes, can't wait for that either. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we had a great night's sleep here, and uh, it was really awesome. Everything worked out great. I can't say enough good things about this tent. It's really, really cool. So uh, after that, we're probably going to pack up and uh, make our way home and uh, basically uh, stick around home. Uh, like most people, you know, we're, we're taking all the precautions that we can for the most part. I mean, uh, we may not be able to, uh, to travel too much going forward. We'll see how it goes, but uh, uh, it's not a big complaint of mine. If we're not allowed to travel, that's fine. Uh, we're lucky to have this spot here, which is a piece of private property. All the parks are closed, uh, and uh, so uh, we're definitely doing our best to avoid people and this is the place to go because yeah. there's nobody around <laughs> um, so uh, that being said uh, I hope everybody else is, is doing well you know and taking care of each other this is a very serious situation and uh, we all have to do our part right and we have to have to keep away from uh, from people if we can and avoid travel I know that we came down here but uh, it's a very rural area so uh, right now things uh, are still available for us for travel but that things might change uh, so while I'm at it, I want to send a gigantic thank you to the people uh, in, in the service industry and people who are, are doing roles that are, are required service. Uh, you know, it's a big sacrifice that these people are doing. So the people in the health industry, uh, thank you so much. The people who, who work in, in, in retail, uh, grocery stores, gas stations, banks, anything that uh, requires you to work and, and uh, help the public, it's so appreciated. Um, it's 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 a big sacrifice for for people to do, and it, it, you know we can't thank you guys enough. So I, I don't want to bring too much of a downer on the trip, uh, but uh, I I just felt that that uh, some I wanted to mention it, and I wanted to have the opportunity to thank the people who are doing so much good out there. So thanks again, folks, and take care of each other. There's still a, a bit more to come in the video, but uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to just kind of talk about this. Egg sandwiches. <laughs> and we move on to egg sandwiches. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that uh, worked out pretty nicely. Yeah. Yep. Pretty easy. Yep. Didn't hurt the tree. Nope. And I used the dead stick. <laughs> <laughs> So I thought I brought my snowshoes for no reason, but I did use them. <laughs> support your chair. To support my chair, yeah. <laughs> Well, I'm glad we brought them. We weren't sure what the conditions were going to be like out here in the woods. But yeah. And the top layer was soft, but there's multiple layers of crust underneath. So. Yeah. No, it went pretty smooth. <clears throat> yeah. And that crust is pretty hard, as your shovel can attest to. Mm. Mm. Yeah, my shovel. <laughs> Poor shovel. Yeah. It was a good shovel. It was. Dug a lot of holes. <laughs> Cleared a lot, of, a lot of camping spots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sun's bright. I think I might turn around actually. Oh, well, not me. <clears throat> Taking the rain. And... Yeah. yeah. Put my sunglasses on. Ah, that's better. So we didn't get too much uh, in way of signs of wildlife, a uh, few rabbit tracks here and there, but the snow's been so hard that nothing's leaving much of a print. Um, we did hear an owl hooting about last night and some other bird that just wouldn't shut up. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't know, but for like hours. <laughs> but anyway, uh, <laughs> there's worse sounds out there. Um, however, that being said, we uh, like 
Okay, we mentioned before we do leave a trail cam here. We got some pretty nice footage, so mm -hmm. we're going to throw that out there in this video. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't, uh, or fortunately, I, I, <laughs> depending on your outlook, we didn't see what you're about to see in the video on this trip, but uh, pretty neat. Pretty yeah. neat. So, And just for, um, just for an idea, uh, where we got this footage that we're about to show you is around 150 uh, meters, uh, which is, I don't know, maybe 400 feet from... Uh, where our bushcraft shelter our is. Bushcraft shelter, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, pretty neat. <sighs> Let us know what you guys think. Not done. Well, big room. Oh. Can you reach behind you and grab my green bag? I'm busy. I was here first. I know. <laughs> my little bag was on the snow in there, it's all wet. Uh huh. Happy. Yeah. What did you want? Your green bag? Yep. Yeah. Mm. Getting kicked out. No, no, you saved your one. That black blue bag, by the way, you were something underneath your net. I don't know how to put it on there. I thought, it was, I thought it was underneath here, but I guess not. Yeah. No. Go ahead. Yep. Social distancing. <laughs> <laughs> Can't nice. come in the restaurant. <laughs>
wifi. Well, that wraps it up, folks, for another awesome winter camping trip. Yes. Uh, can't uh, say enough good things about the uh, snow trekker. This was fantastic. Thanks again so much for watching us, folks. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We sure had fun. We hope to see you again next time. Remember to take care of each other, and I uh, hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye. Take care. <laughs> see if I can get out of here. Hey, don't bump me. Right, this right. is a bumper car. <laughs> I'm going to make a break for that.